I know a lot of people feel pressure to get married. We didn't really feel much pressure. The only pressure I actually felt was when I actually went to go shop for the engagement ring, because uh, I'd never been engagement ring shopping before. The last time I even got a little bit close, I ended up getting in a fight with a girl I was dating. Uh, it was not even over buying the jewelry. It was just a jewelry commercial we saw on TV. We were in kind of that weird sort of where's this going kind of place, and then we were sitting on the couch watching TV, and one of those De Beers diamond commercials came on, and it used to end with a diamond is forever. And the girl I was dating looked over at me and she was like, you know what diamond is forever? I was like, I know. So is styrofoam, actually. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you crying? Hold on a second. I'm just saying, it's a lot cheaper, and then you'd never lose your ring in the pool. Think about that. I'd just be like a boat keychain, or just float. I, don't... I feel so sorry for guys when I see some of these jewelry commercials because I know that they're targeted just towards guys and not towards women. They're commercials that come on like during a football game and a guy's like, oh, that, oh that, that must be what she wants. I'll get, I'll get her one of those, that open heart, whale tail necklace thing that Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman is selling. I don't know, I'll, I don't know if it's a keychain or what, but I'll bet she'd like it. Huh? The Pandora bracelet the, with the little charms on it where there's a woman at the party. You can tell so much about my life by looking at my bracelet. <laughs> Look at this, see? You can tell I've been to Paris. There's the Eiffel Tower. And I like horses, because there's a horse here. And here's a bottle of wine, because I'm bad at forming interpersonal relationships. <laughs> <laughs> or that ad for the Le'Veon chocolate diamonds. You can't tell me that some dude didn't get a bonus that year, because I guarantee you, they were sitting around a big boardroom meeting and they were like, all right, item number one, what do we do with all the ugly brown diamonds? <laughs> and one dude in the back was like, ladies love chocolate. They're like, whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> Is that Phil? All right, Phil gets a Lexus this year. Good for you, Phil. <laughs> Actually, even Lexus does a commercial that feels like one of those over-the-top jewelry ads. They do it every year around Christmas time for their big December to remember, their big year-end event. They have a car in the driveway with a big bow on top of it and a commercial husband and wife out there. Merry Christmas, oh, it's a car in the home. That's cool. I wish just once they would zoom in on the house to show the kids in the windows being like, well, guess I'm not getting that bike this year. All right. <laughs> That's not good. Dad messed up. I told you, this isn't good for us. I don't, I don't know, I was getting out of this one. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.